Now for the EFD group, Mr Farage. Well, I must congratulate you, Mr Samaras, for getting the Greek presidency off to such a cracking start. Your overnight successful negotiation in the trialogue on Mithid, I'm sure, will have them dancing in the streets of Athens. Uh, no matter that your country, uh, very poorly advised by Goldman Sachs, uh, joined a currency that it was never suited to. No matter that 30% are unemployed, that 60% of youth are unemployed, that a neo-Nazi party is on the march, that there was a terrorist attack on the German embassy. No, don't worry about all that, because the trialogue on Mifid has been a success. And in many ways, it sums up the two Europes. The Europe that's talked about in here by the dreamers who want to impose a new United States of Europe with an identity and a currency and the real world out there. And you come here, Mr. Sam Samaras, and you tell us that you represent the sovereign will of the Greek people. Well, I'm sorry, but you're not in charge of Greece. And I suggest you rename and rebrand your party. It's called New Democracy. I suggest you call it No Democracy, because Greece is now under foreign control. You can't make any decisions. You've been bailed out and you've surrendered. Democracy, the thing your country invented in the first place. And you can't admit that joining the Euro was a mistake, because, of course, Mr Papandreou did that, didn't he? He even said there should be a referendum in Greece. And within 48 hours, the unholy trinity that now run this European Union had him removed and replaced by an ex-Goldman Sachs employee puppet. We are run now by big business, big banks, and in the shape of Mr Barroso, big bureaucrats. And actually, that's what these European elections are really going to be all about. It's going to be a battle of national democracy versus EU state bureaucracy. Whatever you may say in this chamber, the people out there don't want a United States of Europe. They want a Europe of sovereign states trading and working together. And I believe the European elections are going to mark a watershed. Up until now, everybody has thought, much as they may not like the development of the European Union, that it was inevitable. That myth of inevitability will be shattered by the European elections this year. Thank you.